Hi, uh, my name's Keith and I have the privilege of being the CEO for Operation Florence EMR. Um, and I'm here today live from a car wash near you, assuming you're in Oxfordshire, with our mascot. Say hi Roo. Um, so I've been asked to do a little video today uh, to update you all um, and a couple of other things. So we're now on day eight of our funding campaign um, and our GoFundMe currently sits at the grand total of zero. Um, which I'm going to be honest, um, we knew we were either going to be like Nigel Mansell on a sprint race um, straight out of the traps or it was going to be more of a Mansell tactical race starting from the back of the grid. So we're just starting from the back of the grid. Don't be too surprised by the way if Rue goes nuts, he loves car washes. Um, that's me. Oh, sorry, daddy duties. Anyway, um, so the other things I needed to do is basically just go through a few things with you all. Um, now on the funding side of things, one thing that we are really happy about is we already have um, it's eight people that have signed us up as their charity on their Amazon Smart. Um, guys, we love you. That's great. Um, hopefully there's just the beginning of many, many more. Um, so the thing that has disheartened us a little bit is the reactions we've been getting on social media. Um, we've been getting quite a lot of flack from people that think that us using the term UK, as in the abbreviated term for the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, where we are, uh, they think we mean Ukraine. No. So let me explain exactly what it is we're doing. Like I said, I told you, he loves car washes. Um, so, Operation Florence EMR is a rescue charity um, based and being built to serve the Thames Valley region. Our first station will be in Oxfordshire, okay? Now what we're doing um, is technical rescue, um, medical first response. Um, we are looking to also assist with NHSBT where we can. Um, alongside the other charitable activities, some of which is already ongoing now. So we'll be providing first aid training to charitable youth groups, free of charge. We're already doing that. Um, we're also looking to be providing bursaries for those training to serve um, under the Silver Star team at the Oxford John Radcliffe Hospital. Um, and anybody really looking to um, serve in emergency medicine. So that's what we're doing. We're UK based. Um, we only ever intended to be UK based, but I'm not going to lie. We have been contacted this week and invited to join um, an organisation which uh, is a bit like International Search and Rescue, but for Europe. And that is something we are heavily looking into. And to be honest, I think we're quite privileged to have been invited to do that. Um, so that's who we are, that's what we're doing. We're not doing anything for Ukraine. Um, our hearts go out to the people of Ukraine. And our official comment is, war sucks. Um, but there's plenty of other people already doing stuff for Ukraine and that's not what we're about. We're about serving the people of our local region and the people of the UK and saving as many lives as we can. Um, so don't be concerned, we're not going away. This is a mission we've been working on now for two years. Um, we have our charity number, we're registered with the fundraising regulator and we're determined to see this happen. It's as simple as that. Um, so the final piece that I'm going to go through is exactly what you can do to help us. Um, stage one development, and I say stage one because that is the first of three planned stages. Okay. Um, we need £2.75 million. We have got a mountain to climb. And we're only going to be able to climb that mountain with your help, okay? That doesn't necessarily mean financial help, right? If you can help us financially, if you're willing to donate, we love you, we thank you.
please donate to our GoFundMe. Um, you can find us on GoFundMe. You're probably watching this video on GoFundMe. But if not, the links are on our social media. Okay. If you can't afford to donate to us financially, there are two other ways you can help us. Firstly, if you shop on Amazon, go to org.amazon.smile. Search for Operation Florence, select us as your charity, and Amazon will donate to us every time you shop, and it will not cost you a penny. Okay? And finally, the last way that you can really help us, right, if you want to help us get this mission off the ground, is share our posts. Get the word out. Get us exposure, okay? Because the more people that, uh, that uh, spread us about and spread the message, the more likely we're going to find those people that can financially support us, okay? And finally, if what we're doing is something that you want to work in, that you think you can better, you, you can help us with, you want to be on our cruise, watch our social media, go to our website, okay? There's a link on our website where you can register your interest to volunteer. Now, by volunteer, what we mean is that you are going to be, if you pass all the all the selection tests, you'll be the same as the, the, the Territorial Army or a retained firefighter, okay? You will be a retained volunteer, right? And we will invest training in you, okay? So that that's us. That's how you can help us. Um, thanks for watching this video. We love you all. Anything you can do to help us, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. So from me, the CO, goodbye. Rue, say bye. And from the mascot, bye. Love you all. Peace out. Have a lovely, lovely time.